This is a story for anyone who may one day have to care for a loved one or need care themselves. If you think you've got all your affairs in order, think again. Tonight, Contact 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears shines a spotlight on a system some say is tearing families apart. Terry Black always planned to be there for her father, Del Mancarelli. Little did she know she and her husband would have to fight to care for Del. This has been one of the most difficult experiences of my life. That's saying a lot for someone who lost her mother to a brain tumor, knowing the tragedy can strike at any time they began to put dad's estate in order. Uh, he put me on all of his bank accounts, uh, made me the executrix of his will. But it turned out that wouldn't be enough. Family court judge Charles Hoskin explains the wording many people don't know they need. Uh, that they put an estate plan in place or designate that if I'm in the need of a guardian, this is who I'd like to have done. Dell's journey into guardianship began when he moved to Las Vegas in 2002 to live with his longtime companion, Helen Natko. Years later, he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and his health took a turn for the worse. In 2013, Terry noticed several withdrawals from his account, adding up to $220,000. You know, something did not look right. My dad did not write checks for $50,000. They flew in from their home state of North Carolina to help, only to find themselves shut out by Helen. And she just said, you're not going to see him. He's staying here. The Blacks tried calling police, but learned they'd have to apply for guardianship of Dell through the courts. If it's believed that you are no longer capable of caring for yourself physically or financially, a family court judge can declare you a ward of the state and appoint a guardian who gets control over every aspect of your life, including your money. People who are wards of the state have fewer rights and access to fewer resources than prisoners who are convicted of the most heinous crimes. Attorney Rob Graham specializes in estate and guardianship cases. He argues the system intended to protect people puts them in a very vulnerable position. Is there too much power floating around here being given to guardians that can come in and take complete control of your life, your money, your choices? Too much power. Um, there's sufficient power, hopefully. The blacks feel powerless in Dell's case, particularly because Nevada has a home state rule, meaning you can't apply to be someone's guardian if you don't live in Nevada. It's very difficult to manage somebody's affairs from a distance. They sought local help, but Dell's companion Helen filed for guardianship too, so the court appointed a temporary guardian who took control of Dell's estate. That the court that you think is there to protect you, to protect your loved one. It's called family court. The court completely denied our family any rights. We're trying to protect the ward. And a lot of times that's gonna cause someone else in that spectrum to feel like they weren't dealt with correctly. The blacks sure do. Terry even had to ask permission from the court appointed guardian for something as basic as dinner alone with her dad. And I was told uh, you will not be able to remove your dad from the home and take him to dinner. Terry and Rick say that began a campaign to discredit them, isolate Dell and rack up charges to his estate. Under state law, the court appointed guardian is paid with the ward's money. Every time Terry called or emailed for any reason, her father was billed as the system drained Dell's money to fight his own daughter. It's difficult, uh, and I think that ultimately the process is too expensive. But here's the kicker in Dell's case. There was criminal action here presented to the family court that they ignored. Remember all the money withdrawn from Dell's bank? The Blacks reported that to authorities who investigated and criminally charged Helen Natko with felony exploitation, alleging she took tens of thousands of dollars from Dell for her own use. Natko has not entered a plea. The Blacks provided evidence she lost thousands of dollars gambling and told the family court she was under criminal investigation. Despite that, the court gave guardianship over Dell to Helen. And that hasn't changed, even though she's been charged. While many say that makes it clear the system is broken, Judge Hoskin argues. Um, I have 8,500 8, active guardianship cases, and I only have a very few that are, that are disgruntled. And I think that's a, that's a very positive spin on what's going on in our system. 
We reached out to Helen Natko and her attorney, but both declined to go on camera. They pointed to the family court's final decision, which found Dell too medically fragile to move. And despite the pending criminal case, family court didn't find any evidence that money was misused. Darcy Spears, Channel 13, Action News.